Hey guys, it's Eric with the Miller Park Minute, where we're throwing strikes and getting likes, hitting dingers, and getting listeners. Back again with another episode. We are back talking brew crew as we like to do. This is typically a daily show. Every now and then we go on a brief hiatus as we just came back from. So thank you to our loyal listeners who are back listening to the show today. Uh, we are on Apple, iHeartRadio, Castbox, Amazon, Radio Public, Pocket Cast, you name it. Uh, if you're on any of the podcast platforms, rate and review. If you're on YouTube, smash that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, please leave those rates and reviews. They do help us out. I uh, just got a lovely one back today. Uh, I'll read it at a different juncture. I don't have it in front of me. Uh, but a really nice review. Thank you to whoever left that for me. Um you want to join you can join below and uh, support us with a small monetary donation uh, otherwise you can go over to the uh patreon patreon.com slash miller park minute you can also use the ck code miller park minute to save yourself 20 dollars off some tickets let's get into today's episode let's talk about freddy uh it's kind of funny i wore willy walkie today uh which is a uh i don't even know breaking tees maybe i don't know it's it was just funny because he was out of the lineup. Uh first day in a long time that Willie's been out of the lineup, and I think it's good for him. I really do. Um let's talk about the good, the bad, and the downright ugly. We'll get into some other brief things real quick. This is gonna be a short one tonight, guys, just due to the late night that I've already been having. So <laughs> let's get into it. Uh, so Freddie Peralta, let's talk about Freddie for a minute here tonight. Freddie has come back in two outings now and just been dominated. Tonight he went seven innings, only allowing one hit, one earned run. Of course, it was via the long ball, 13 Ks, the third time in his career. He has thrown 13 strikeouts, uh, very high whiff rate for Freddie. Uh, just amazing outing. And then of course, the bullpen was locked down, didn't give up any other further runs, Chapin and Pergruo. Those guys are the unsung heroes. The bullpen is con constantly the unsung heroes of this of this team, and it's great to see. Um, but let's talk about the bats because you know we don't often get to talk about the bats and when they perform. So uh, no, we talk about the bats every day. That was a joke. Uh, so obviously, lots of good here. Um, Sal still being the man as he can continues to be, uh, but. Let's start right right, right down the, the line. Christian Yelich batting 290, comes in with a two for three day, three runs, uh, two walks. Then you got Contreras with three hits on and five at bats, two runs, three RBIs, and he struck out once. Uh, they even got Caratini into this game, albeit he didn't really do much. Uh, Santana had an 0 for 5. Freelick went two for three with three runs, four RBIs, one walk, and one strikeout. Monticerio, one for five. Uh, Bryce Churang with a big Jimmy Jack. Uh, he went one for three. Uh, one run, two RBIs, one walk as well. Anderson had a triple. First hit since coming back from injury, from the back injury. He had a triple today. Uh, Tyrone Taylor had a big day, two for four, with two RBIs and two runs. Struck out twice. So the story is the long ball. Sal had a long ball. Turang had a long ball. And Tyrone Taylor had a long ball. Lots of just offensive highlights all the way across the board. Very exciting stuff. Um, Tyrone Taylor's worked his batting average up to 188. So let's round of applause for Tyrone Taylor. <laughs> uh, Canna, I, I forgot to mention Canna. Canna did have we'll go one for five tonight. So um, obviously. The bats of the new guys are still getting established. The young guys are stepping in, though. When they come to play, they play. Um, 
it just needs to be more consistent than what it is. I mean, going splitting a series with the Pirates over the weekend was not ideal. Uh, we want to take this series from the Rockies. Good to see Brent Suter back in town. There were some pictures of him hanging out with the dudes today, so that was pretty cool. Uh, always good to 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 see the Raptor uh, in good spirits too. The guy, the guy, just is constant a beam of energy. Um, one of the things I want to say about this, guys, is we are now at this point where you know these games, every game matters, of course. Uh, we talk about scores and standings a lot this time of year, magic numbers, that kind of thing. We're still one and a half back, even after splitting the series with Pirates. We're still one and a half. I'm sorry, one and a half ahead at 61 and 53 um, of the Reds, and then the Cubs are 2.5 back. Cubs continue to win though, so let's let's keep an eye on that. If we look at the leaderboard of who is on top of the batting leaderboard, of course, Christian Yellis with that 290 average, uh, 80 runs. Willie is our home run leader. And then you got 63 RBIs for Christian Yelts and 23 stolen bases. Yelts is at like 16 home runs. He's close to being the, uh, doing 2020 again. Uh, Corbin Burns lead the way, leads the way with wins. Devin William, of course, saves 27. Uh, 3.42 ERA for Corbin Burns. 151 strikeouts for Mr. Freddie. Uh, and Corbin Burns at a 105 whip. Corbin could probably tie that strikeouts. He's been they've been they've been lockstep with the strikeouts going back and forth. Uh, so we will wait till Corbin Burns next start to see where he he ranks. Uh, let's see here, Freddie Peralta. Uh, strikeouts, 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 strikeouts. There's the stat. Mr. Burns has 141, so he could easily get nine in the next. Those two have been so consistent. Uh, even Woody had a good good amount of strikeouts in his first appearance. Uh, I think when he comes back later this week, uh, which he should start against. Well, we got Miley to, Miley Freeland tomorrow, and we got Hauser Flexen. And then he's going to probably be in the White Sox series. They haven't announced the pitchers for that one, but that's okay. Uh, good news is uh, Rowdy Telez has started rehab assignment. He's going to spend about seven days with the Nashville Sounds. Uh, August 7th, trade outfielder Tyler Naquin to the White Sox for cash. I guess minor league trades can still go down. Uh, they reinstated Bennett Souza from the 60-day IL, uh, optioned him to AAA Nashville. Uh, Justin Wilson is done for the season. He went to the 60-day IL. Uh, Brandon Woodruff obviously reinstated. Clayton Andrews is called up. Nothing yet on Jesse Wicker or Julio Tehran. Uh, we know... Just about the stats of everybody else. So I'm not going to run down that list. Let's talk about the power rankings real quick. Make this a nice little short episode for you. MLB power rankings. Surprisingly, we're still we're we're still staying pretty pat with the power rankings. Uh, we're we're in that upper half, which is really nice. Uh, let's see here. This is ESPN, and we know ESPN doesn't update. It. So this was done August third. Ah, that's not as current as I would like it to be. Let's look at Sports Illustrated, see when they did theirs last. August 7th, perfect. Okay, so Baltimore number one, Atlanta Braves number two, uh, Tampa Bay Rays, Texas Rangers, Dodgers, Astros, Toronto, Phillies, Mariners, ooh, Phillies, I haven't seen the Phillies, Giants, Cubs, Minnesota, New York. Milwaukee at number 14. We've we've gone down uh seven spots there, and that's just due to the last last week and a half of performance. Been a little rough for us. So not not to worry there. Uh there's still good, pretty good odds, obviously, being in first place. There's great odds of us being in the uh playing being in the playoffs. But all right, let's see where we are on the old bleacher report real quick. 
Okay, so Cincinnati is number 15. Does that mean we're a little up further? Oh, no, they got us at 13. We were previously ranked 9. After a 1-5 and five road trip, the Brewers returned home to split fours. Four-game series against the Pittsburgh Pirates. They entered play on Monday, 1.5 game lead in the NL Central. But they are playing 500 baseball since the All-Star break. This week will provide a golden opportunity to build some momentum with the series against Colorado Rockies and the Chicago White Sox. Yes. Again, that steam. All right. Let's go into this one. Uh, this is USA Today, USA Today. Known for their short but brief comments, Atlanta Braves, uh, Orioles, Texas Rangers, Tampa Bay Rays, Los Angeles Dodgers, Houston Astros, Toronto Blue Jays, Phillies, Giants, Milwaukee at number 10, and suddenly a three-team race thanks to those fellow down Lake Michigan. I'm assuming they're talking about the recent hot streak of the Cubs, and that gives us all something to worry about. Athletic, I don't think we have access to again. Uh, let me try to pop up so cancel your time. No. Close. Close. Nope. No athletic. Sports news. Okay, so we got Braves, Orioles, Rangers, Rays, Astros, Dodgers, Blue Jays, Phillies, Giants, Brewers. We are number 11 last time. So, needless to say, last week's road trip did not help our case, did not help our cause. But you know what? We're still fighting. We're still in this thing. I did not go around the internet and read articles today. I just didn't have time. It was a busy Monday. Um, so that's where we're going to finish. No more no rants. Uh, let's just celebrate a victory. Freddie Peralta on the hill. Now we got Wade Milan coming in, locked in tomorrow. Um, we're going to lock into some more content later this week. Uh, got some special guests hopefully coming up. We just got to coordinate with them. So, guys, this has been Eric with the Miller Park Minute. Thank you for watching the show, listening on the audio. Like I said, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. We will see you in the next episode. As always, go Brew Crew. Have a great night or day.